Hi there, my name's Connor, and today I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of the Good Till by Sum Up back office. When we log in, the first thing we see here is our dashboard. Now the dashboard is quick fire info, what you as a business owner would want to see at a glance. So up at the top right, we have these different time filters, so we can look at today, yesterday, last seven days, last 30 days, and depending on what I click there, the corresponding data below will mirror it. Here we can see along the top, we've got the key stats, we've got the sales graph, top 10 sellers, sales breakdown, payment breakdown, and so on. All of this data is available in much more depth in this specific reports, but like I said, this is a nice quick overview, something you'd want to see quickly. Now the first tab we have on the left-hand side of our system is the overview option. So if I click on that there, this is where we have all of our overview reporting options. Everything from an overview dashboard, where we can see all of our locations combined onto one system with the key stats. We can see our sales reports, product report, sales by staff, and so on. This shows that GoodTool's got a great level of multi-site functionality. Now these reports in here are all global. Should we want to ever see specific reporting per location, all I need to do is scroll down to the bottom left, click change outlet, and flick between whichever outlet I want to view. Next up, we're going to be looking up at the top left in our product section. So I'm going to quickly show you how we can add products into the system, which is an absolute breeze. So if I tap into my product list, this is where I can see every single item that's either already created in the system or I can add the new ones. I can search using these filters up at the top to find items nice and quickly should I need to. Now, if I click up at the top right where we have add new products, this fires open all of the potential information that I could be inputting against a new item. So everything from a product name, category brand, supplier, display names, barcodes, should you want to use the system for retail, tags, course management. If you want to upload images into the system or color coordinate, the choice is completely yours. We can input the cost price, the selling price, the VAT, which helps work out our markup and everything like that. We can do eating and takeaway on the good till as well. So should you want to have those different or varying levels of VAT, absolutely no worries at all. It's all automated. It makes it nice and quick through the point of sale. Good eats. So should you want to have different prices via our online ordering system, which I'll cover in another video, you can slightly differentiate there. Any variations, stock management. So if you can input your current stock, ideal stock, set up low stock alerts, also delivery reorder alerts if you would find them useful. Ingredient reporting as well. So should you ever want to track things by the milliliter, the gram, etc., etc., we've got a great facility for it. And then the final thing down at the bottom is the printing. So you can dictate exactly what items print where all very easily through here. But once I'm happy, I can then submit that. And that will be a product on the system that I can start selling. Next up, we have our product inventory. So within my products tab, if I look down towards the bottom, I've got my product inventory. I click on that and this fires open the area where I'm able to view all of my stock in the system. So I've got all these different filters up at the top. So like with the product list, should I want to find something specifically, I absolutely can do. I've got these different little toggles that I can switch on or off depending on what information I want to see. Just below that, I get an overview of the store stock value versus the store retail value, which is quite nice just for your information. I then have my entire product list. Now, if I want to say, see what I'm holding least or most of, I just need to click on store level once or twice and that pops up and I can see the corresponding information across from that. Now, if I'm not using the Good to Advanced Stock app, I can very, very quickly add stock through this add stock column in here. So if I've ordered more of something, I can type the number I've ordered, press enter, and that will update the stock across the entire system. Next up is our sales tab. So on the left hand side, if I click on sales, this is going to fire open with the entire transaction history of whatever time period I'm reporting on. Now below, we can see all the different types of sales that have gone through the system. So anything that's been completed, 
transferred from tables, parked. It will show voids as well. So absolutely everything is tracked into this area. If I click on one of these sales, it pops up with some details on the sale itself. If it was an assigned customer, I can see that up at the top. I can see who opened the table. I can see the covers, receipt numbers, what's been ordered. If I need to avoid it, if I need to resend any email receipts, absolutely fine to do so. And right down at the bottom, we have the payment history as well. This cell here is cash, but if we did have an integrated card reader solution, it will show you what type of card reader that was used and the last four digits of the customer's card. So should I need to go back for things like refunds, matching up transactions, nice and easy for me to do so. Next up, we have our customers tab. So if I click into that now, we have a little drop down and we can see we have a customer list, customer groups, account customers and import customers as well. If I click on the first one here, I'm going to be able to see every single customer that I have previously saved into our system, along with the emails, the mobile, their orders, last order date, and so on. I can also search for a customer specifically. So if I search for my name here and type myself in, I can click into my account and I can see my details along the top. I can track things like membership numbers and so on. Prepayments, so if I do want to take deposits, I can do. Loyalty details, so things like what I've been earning or redeeming. I can adjust points as well manually through the back office. And down at the bottom, I can also see the full sales history of that particular customer. I can click into a sale and see exactly what was purchased, the time, the order type, everything like that. We then have customer groups. So should you want to set up these different groups, so you know different membership tiers, gold, silver, bronze, etc., etc. You can then allow these particular customers to gain access to certain discounts that a regular walking customer wouldn't be able to access. We then have the account side, which ties into all of the prepayments. If you do want to give the customers the ability to put money behind the bar or have a credit limit with you, absolutely fine. And then finally, we can import customers. So if you've built up a database from a previous system, you can upload all of that into GoodTool and you can pick up exactly where you left off. We now come onto our reporting section. So if I click into my reports, as you can see here, we've got a whole host of reports available. So everything from our sales report, product report, all the way down through to our advanced reporting, where we can see things like advanced product reports, sales by staff, petty cash report, and so on. To run you through a couple of these, if we start with the sales report here, I tap into this. The first thing I can do is pick and choose my date and time range. So let's say I want to report on this particular week of July. I apply that there. I can fill stand by staff member, sale type and register if I do want to get that specific or if I leave that generic. I click on run report and here I can see the corresponding data below. So I can see a sales summary or a graph. I can see the sales on the right the discounts that have been given out, the VAT breakdown, if it is varying, the different payment breakdowns and covers as well. We then have our product report. So if I click into that there, I'll do a bit more of a date range this time to get a bit more data. So these two weeks here, as you can see, we've got a load more filters available along the top, just to be a slightly more granular if you want to be. But if I leave that generic, run that report, and it's gonna give me a product summary so I can see the summary of sales, best sellers by tags and by categories. If I keep scrolling down, I can see the top 10 products by quantity as well as by revenue. And then I scroll slightly further and I get my product table of everything that I've sold. Initially, this shows up in register order, but should I want to see, say, my best seller of the period, I just need to click on quantity once and then twice, and that will jump up and I can see the corresponding data next to it. Another very useful report we have is our gross profit. So if I click into this here, choose my date range, I'll leave the filters up at the top generic once again, run that report, and it's gonna give me a full overview along the top of all of my items, what I've been selling, the gross, the net, the cost of goods, and so on. And I'll scroll further down again, and I get my GP summary table. Like with the last report, if I click on say quantity twice, 
that'll jump up for me and I can see all the relevant data next to that particular item. Another useful report that we have is our advanced sales report. I click into this here, I'll get some data again. I'll actually get two months this time. I'm going to leave the report type here as hourly, run that report, and I'm going to be able to see across that entire reported period, how many on average sales I'm making per hour of the day, the VAT sales, net sales, everything like that. Next up, we have the setup tab. So if I close these reports and I'll click into setup, we have a range of options in here, ranging from the selling layouts, which we can fully tweak, the table layouts, receipt templates, email receipt templates, note buttons, discount buttons, and so on. Next up, we have our users tab. So if I close down our setup and click into users, I can then click into my staff. So in here, I can see all of the staff that I have active in the system. I can see their name, their passcode, what outlet they're assigned to, as well as if they're a manager or not. Now, if I click up at the top right, I can then edit the details up along the top. I can make this person a manager where they have access to absolutely everything in the system, or I can very much cherry pick what they can or cannot do below. And I can also make them shareable across multiple outlets. Perfect for someone like a general manager where they want to use the same logins for all the outlets that they're operating. Just below our users tab, we then have our advanced stock module, loyalty and pro. Within the stock module, you can create things like purchase orders, stock takes and transfers between locations. I'll make a separate video detailing all of these features. Loyalty is where we can set up our points per pound scheme, very similar to something like Tesco Club Card. So the more points a customer spends with you, the more they earn. And then you as a business can set up your own loyalty rewards which can either be product based or money off based. We then have the pro module. This is where we can set up advanced promotions. So things like buy one, get one freeze and meal deals. And we can also house vouchers and coupons in here as well. Thank you very much for listening to our Good Till by Sum Up back office demonstration. Should you have any more questions or queries, please don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team.